Uh, let's talk um, about a, a movie, I suspect, whose mm. release is uh, conveniently placed for half-term. Barnyard, the new Digimation, as we are now calling them. Um, it's, it's a story of a bunch of animals on a farm, right? And here's the gag. When the humans aren't looking, the yeah. animals stand upright, OK? Mm -hmm. When the humans are looking, they're animals. Now, if you saw Toy Story, you may think, no, I know that gag. It's the one about when the kids go out of the room, they all get up and run around. When the kids come in, they're toys. But, ah, no, but it's a twist, you see. They're not toys. They're animals, you see. Right. Now, because you wouldn't want it to just be, you know, just limp and empty, obviously, it has a very serious story. And the story is about a father, a father. And I'm, bear with me, because this is important. A father cow who is teaching his young, rebellious... Oh, bull, no, 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 oh, no, sorry, no, wait. Wrong, OK. His sorry. young, runaway son to grow up, to follow in his footsteps. Father Cow, voiced by Sam Elliott. As far as, by, quite apart from the fact that Barnyard's rubbish, bad animation, bad storytelling, all the rest of it, fine. Here's the thing, that voice of Sam Elliott, yes, Sam Elliott, the, the voice of manliness, okay? He's the father, and he has a son, and the son is growing up to be the father. And at one point, the son falls in love with a young, pretty cow, and the son wants to prove to the young, pretty cow that he can be the man that his father was, okay? Now, all the animals stand up. And the male cows, and I'm not using the word, but the male cows stand up and are distinguished by the fact that they have big sticky out udders. Now, I'm sitting there going, now, I'm sorry, unless I missed a meeting, cows don't have udders. A male cow is a bull and a bull doesn't have udders, but a cow has udders. So if a male cow stands up, it doesn't have udders. But if a cow stands up and has udders, it's a cow, yes. meaning it's a girl, meaning Sam Elliott is not, he's a girl, and meaning the son is a transsexual, because he's saying he's a man, but he's not. He's, How but did I he get a voice like that? Well, exactly. Girl? Now, hang on, so I wasn't sure about this, I wasn't sure about this, so I rang up Mark Holdstock from Farming Today, and I said, S forgive me for interrupting that's you. That's it is. I said, do bulls, male, because at first, see, what's a male cow? He said, he said well, it's a trick question, it's a bull, right? I said, yeah, fine, do bulls have others? He said, no. And then he did exactly the same thing as somebody would do, he'd ring up and say, is Paris in Germany? He'd say, no, and then he'd go, hang on, and this is a trick question. So he said. He said, no, but I'm just going to check this out. And he rang up the um, chief executive of the National Beef Association, who confirmed that male cattle do not have udders. So, ladies and gentlemen... <laughs> you know, I thought you might have known that. No, right? no, no. Okay. I just... I said, I said, all the way through. You know, it's like you say, you know, is up, up, and is down, down. You go, yes, but hang on. If you're asking me, there's a trick here. Is it, you know, is Rob Schneider the worst actor in the world? Yes. But hold on. You, there's a reason why you're asking me this. But we confirmed, OK? So these things in this cartoon, standing up with udders, are good. So, ladies and gentlemen... Quite apart from the fact it's a rubbish movie, doesn't make any sense, doesn't yeah, no story. I am proud to tell you that it is, as far as I can tell, the first transsexual, lesbian, anthropomorphic, digital animal animation for kids. That is pretty much the only thing it has going for it. Do you think they were given others because the alternative wasn't acceptable? It's because we've now got to the point in animation that an animator sits and goes, yeah, well, there's some boy cows and some girl cows. And somebody says, uh, <clears throat> listen, sorry, Jeff, uh, but you know boy cows, they're bulls. What? No! Well, never mind. So Nobody knows that. The people who are going to see these movies are so dumb, are so removed from the source of actually what most carnivores consider to be their food and the source of their milk. They won't notice. Um, well, forget it, mate. Forget all I could think about the whole way through this movie was those things standing up are not male cows, which are called bulls. So when, when that bit happens... No, no, when it happens all the time. They stand up the okay. whole movie. Well, maybe, the, maybe every time it happens, or maybe the first time it happens... People should stand up and shout at, 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 the, uh, at the screen. The emperor's got no clothes on, and that is a girl cow. This is the end of bovine cinema. Viva transsexual animal digimation. I mean, I'm sorry, it is, it's is—it's just... Yeah, 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 there, there should have been a meeting, and somebody just went, I'm, I don't care who you are, you can't do it, go and rethink this. Ar it's pathetic. Arthur Lang says an actor should be ashamed of himself. Mark Kermode, he can only act as himself, like, yeah. in, like in extras. Well, that is absolutely true. Many but people, many, many people mm. read the Van email uh, of earlier, pointing out that Lee Van Cleef redeems the entire family of Vans single-handedly. Yeah, and Mamie Van Doren.